Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Firstly, I just want to say excuse how I look right now. Today is not my day. I'm really not feeling great and I just still wanted to get a video out for Wednesday for this upload. I really don't like missing uploads. So it's just not a good enough excuse that I don't feel great. Do you know what I mean? So we're going to power through and yeah, that's why I've not put any makeup on my face. But do you know what I mean? Like sometimes you just have to go natural and we need to embrace it. So also if you see flies just buzzing around, um... Dan left work and left the window open, so I came back to not even, I'm not even joking, about 20 flies in the kitchen, which is just making my skin crawl. Um, I've managed to get most of them out, but there's literally a couple of rogue ones. Someone actually commented on my video where I was talking about the flies, saying to spray them with hairspray, um, but I feel really mean. I know that they're literally the most annoying thing ever, but I just feel mean. But we're just going to try and zone out and just not look at them not give them any attention and yeah we're just gonna get on with the video so i basically have been doing loads of sale shopping loads of summer holiday shopping even though i'm not i am going on holiday but i'm not really going on like a beachy holiday but i still think it's a great idea to get like all your summer clothes towards the end of summer and your winter clothes towards the end of winter because there's always sales on and it's actually so much cheaper so i just happened to be looking at sales and i came across the misguided one and i haven't shopped on misguided since like they did a sale last year like i just i don't shop on websites like this you guys know me if you watch my videos i mainly shop at primark and vintage and honestly to be honest that's about it until the sales come and then i start to think actually also is this focusing and then i start to think actually we'll have a little look because the prices will have gone down and it's just more affordable so yeah i looked on misguided and they had a sale on which obviously i was expecting but i did not expect the prices like it's actually ridiculous how cheap some of these bikinis were. Like, I would say, like, to start off as well, the, like, the haul is mainly swimwear and bikinis, swimming costume. There is one dress, but other than that, it is pretty much all swimwear because, to be honest, I didn't really find loads else and I just wanted to stock up on these bikinis whilst they were so cheap. I know I literally have so many bikinis, but I actually got rid of a lot of ones that I don't wear anymore and put them on Vinted. Um, and if any of these don't fit, I will also put these on Vinted. But yeah, they were honestly so cheap. I honestly got some bikinis for like £2, £3 for like the whole set. So, so affordable. And yeah, let's just get straight into showing you because I, my intros are always like so ridiculously long and it's just not needed. So let's just get on with the video. Right, so I have a massive bag. Although it never looks that massive on camera. Whenever you say I've got a massive bag, it just doesn't, it doesn't look big. But let me see. No, you're not going to see that, are you? Right. I'm going to start with my favourite one. I'm praying this fits because it is quite possibly the most gorgeous bikini I've ever seen. Um, if I figure out how to put like pictures on, then I will definitely do that. But this is the top. Let me just... So I don't know how you can see, but it's like a triangle bikini. And then it's got like this two strap kind of detail with a like gold band there. And it's like a khaki zebra print. Let me come a bit closer with the print there you go you can see it. it's a khaki zebra print and it just ties up at the back i got this in a size 12 and let me get my phone actually to get the prices for you and then these are the bottoms the bottoms again i've got like a kind of two strap detail on one side so it's kind of like at an angle so you have two straps that side and just one normal one that side it's kind of full coverage like i actually think that's quite nice coverage um i also picked up that in a size 12 and i've just looked at my phone and it says that for well i can't reach way around i'm guessing the top was three pounds and the bottoms were two pounds so five pounds in total for that bikini i think is so good and it's a gorgeous color like it's definitely going to look really nice with a tan. So if this fits, this is definitely going in the keep pile. That's the other thing, guys, as well. I won't be keeping all of these. So comment down below your favourites and which ones I should send back. But £5 for that bikini, I think, is an absolute bargain. Right, sticking with the £5 theme, I picked up a swimming costume. This is the only swimming costume I picked up. And I mainly picked this up because I am going to Florida in September. And for Disney water parks, Universal water parks, sometimes I feel like it's a little bit better to be wearing a swimming costume, covering myself up a little bit. Other than that, like, I don't really wear swimming costumes. I'm much more of a bikini girl. But I saw this and I thought this was so funky. So this is the print. As you can see, it's got a massive cutout in the stomach area. And then it's just very covered in the bottom area which i love this i got in a size 12 probably should have got 14 because it does feel like it's gonna be a little bit tight but then you never know until you put these things on but this is the pattern up close i mean it's pretty bright but pretty funky it's kind of giving harry styles vibes like 
I actually do really like that, so I hope that fits. This next bikini was literally £2.40 for the whole set. I think it was the bottoms were 80p and the top was £1.60. Like, I don't understand how they can get away with, like, charging so little. Um, I don't know if it's just they're literally trying to get rid of their stock or, like... I guess, obviously it's end of season sale isn't it so you can always pick up some bar some really good bargains but this bikini top is one of them like kind of like wired ones sheen actually do a lot of these ones um and i do find this really hard to show you it's like a wired one i do find these ones quite flattering because they fit almost like a bra kind of thing like they give you a little bit more support and then it's just got a tie back which tie backs are probably actually quite good because then you can obviously adjust them but yeah i thought this one was really cute for £1.60 and that is the pattern up close just a really nice floral pattern i got this in a size 12 also this has got tags on so this says it's originally 16 pounds it's originally 16 pounds and i somehow got it for one pound 60 like that just it doesn't add up misguided it really doesn't but i'm not mad because honestly like i just need to spend as little money at the moment as possible so whenever there's a sale about you know i'm about so yeah and then these are the bottoms Oh, well, they're actually kind of quite good coverage, actually. I'm not going to lie. These are originally £8, it says. So it's quite nice, actually, because it's got a bit of a sort of like... How do you even call that? Like, it's got more of a shape at the front, and then it's actually quite covered covered at the back, which is nice because sometimes you get this sort of triangle shape, and it ends up with a little bit of string for the back, essentially. Um, I also got them in a size 12, and yeah, so these were originally £8, and they were 80p. So that's literally insane. £2.40 for such a cute bikini. I really hope this one fits. This heat is just not doing great things for my hair. Like, oh, I feel like I just, I'm done with this heat now. Unless you're on holiday in a pool with a bikini, this heat is just unbearable. So, yeah. Kind of want to just skip to September now. Actually, no, I'm going to Paris in a few weeks. Let's do Paris and then skip to September, please. But the next bikini I paid £4 in total for, literally, again. What? That's crazy. This fly is really, really annoying me. Um, oh, I actually start with the bottoms this time. I literally didn't know which one. Oh, no, that is the top. It's just tiny. Right. This one may be going back because I... Well, actually, she says, it's not actually that bad. There is one bikini that I've had sneak peek at that the boob bit is literally like a little strap like it's absolutely no no but this one is a little bit more coverage again it's giving harry styles i don't know why like i love this pattern this was originally 10 pounds and i paid two pounds for each so i also picked up this in a size 12 which they say is a medium so yeah i think that would probably be fine you know and it is a really nice pattern um or at least i think it's a nice pattern you might be thinking what the hell is that and then these are the bottoms they're actually undone a little bit um quite itty bitty like very you know but we'll try them on we'll see what they look like on we'll see how confident we are and maybe we'll be keeping these again the bottoms are 10 pounds so this is literally meant to be 20 pounds and i paid four pounds literally insane like it doesn't add up Right, the next one is the one that I said is just too itty bitty. I think I paid £5 for it. I'm going to show you the top and you're literally going to laugh. But some people could pull this off. Like, I see the girls on Love Island and they're wearing very, like... Oh, my God, my hair. Look at the state of it. They're wearing very small bikinis. Oh, this is the bottoms. Oh, my God. I didn't even look at the bottoms before. This is an absolute no. Like, uh, no. Okay, so this is the front of the bottoms. Are you ready? You're not even ready. And then... This is the back of the bottoms. I did not read the small print. I did not see that it's literally a thong. Like, fair enough to you if you can pull that off. But the type of places I'm going on holiday, like I'm going to Paris, I'm not going to be wearing it in Paris. I'm going to Disney, which is a very family, kid-friendly place. I'm not just going to be walking around Typhoon Lagoon with my whole ass out. Like, absolutely not. Uh, that is going to have to go back. But I do love the patterns. So that's annoying because that pattern is... I love that but let me show you the top as well because yeah the top doesn't get much better i'm not gonna lie um yeah top is no better it's literally worse i picked this bit up first and i was like oh my god i picked my mom was like oh my god you got a kids like you must have got a kids 12 like i was like no mum, they don't do like kids like that is that is my size <laughs> um yeah again i don't think the camera's even picking up how small it is let me put it against my boob it would probably just cover my nipple like the nipple would be covered but nothing else so i think 
that one's a no. Right, now we have another one of the same shape as the white floral one. So I'm hoping this will be a yes, because like I said, those shapes are quite flattering on me. This one's a bit of a green checkered. We've gone for a lot of green, haven't we? They seem to, they seem to have a lot of green on their website. Um, I love green, it's literally my favorite color, so I'm not mad about that. And I do love that these kind of have like, like the arm bit isn't like around your neck. I hate bikinis where they tie around your neck. I literally feel like I'm being choked, so yeah. Love that that's not like that. I think I paid £5 again or £4 in total and the top itself is £14. So yeah, absolute bargain. I'm pretty sure I picked up all of them in a size 12. This is a size 12 as well. Um, that is my usual size. I do usually go for like medium size 12s unless it just... Oh. Oh, they've sent me... Or did I order two tops? I've got two of the same tops. Where's the... Oh no, I must have accidentally clicked two of the same top. I'll put one of them on Vinted then. <laughs> um, and then these are the bottoms. So yeah, I've only got one bottom, so I must have just accidentally clicked two tops. Again, quite good coverage. This is like my ideal coverage really. And is it giving like picnic blanket? Maybe. We'll see how it looks like on, this is a size 12 and this is meant to be £10. So £24 for the whole bikini and I've got it for £4 or £5. So absolute bargain and yeah I will definitely have to put that top on vintage I'm also going to put the thongy bikini so if that is your style and you think you can pull it off then you go girl and yeah it'll be on my vintage so check that out Okay, the last bikini is also the same shape, and to be honest, it's very similar, so I probably don't need to, oh, why is it not coming out? Probably don't need to keep them both because they are quite similar. They're the same color, um, one's just a wave print, as you can see, one second. One is a wavy print. It's kind of looking more blue. It's kind of looking more like bluey green on the camera, but it is actually quite a distinct green. Um, yeah. I don't know if they're like different enough to keep them, but they're, that was £15, but obviously I paid like £4, £5, and it's the exact same bottoms again, so the perfect coverage, so to be fair, maybe it is a good idea to keep them both, because if they fit nicely, then it's better to have more of the same bikini. But yeah, I got that in a size 12, medium again, and hopefully it fits, and yeah, I think, let me know if you think I need to keep both, and if you don't, then which one should I send back, the green zebra print, animal print, or the wave print? And then the last thing I picked up was actually a dress, the one thing that wasn't a bikini, um, I'm really hoping this fits, I can't remember what size I got this in, maybe, I'm hoping I sized up actually, because it does kind of look quite tight, but... This is not a dress I'd usually go for, but I'm really hoping it looks nice because I do love the print. Yeah, I went for a size 14 in this just because it might be a little bit tight, but it's this like crochet dress. I don't think it will actually be too, mm -hmm. no, I don't think it will actually be too see-through, but yeah, I just thought on holiday or in the summer, this will look gorgeous and it's actually really long as well. I don't think it has a slit, does it? No, it's just like a bodycon dress. Let me show you the pattern up close. I mean, you can kind of see it yeah i thought this was so pretty and i paid seven pound for this i can't actually see the original price because it's covered up by a sticker but i will link the items down below um but this is misguided crochet something lilac i don't know i will try and link it down below because this is literally gorgeous and i really hope that fits because yeah stunning but yeah, that is everything I picked up from the Misguided sale and I really hope you enjoyed it. I have an ASOS sale haul coming next. It should be literally the video after this. I then, after that, will have my monthly Primark haul and then that might be the end of the hauls for a while. I know I said that last time, so it probably won't be, let's be realistic. But if you did enjoy this video, please do leave a like, comment and subscribe. I literally would love to hit 1000 subscribers by the time i go on holiday that would literally be a dream of mine i've just yeah i'm so close but it's just taking forever so if you do want to show your support i would really appreciate that and hopefully i will see you in my next video bye